I wanted to thank you, actually. I honestly don't think I would be here uh, if it wasn't without your group. And you did change my life. And oh my gosh. <laughs> so much. To you, you think you just made a Facebook group and you're exchanging information, but you've changed people's lives. So uh, thank you. You just made my year. <laughs> thank you so much. I had to tell people this is out there. I, I can't keep that to myself. You know, it's like when you find, well, the cure for cancer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you find the cure for cancer, you want to tell everyone you know. And I am so thankful that it helped you. The stories that I've been hearing in the group, they make me so grateful that we have this ability now to be able to connect with people all over the world and share information that helps people save their quality of life and, and gives them a second chance. It's just absolutely inspiring. This video can help save other people their thyroids. My, I hope my story is able to help people. I did get a few messages from people in your group about mm -hmm. the situation. One lady already went to Dr. Korkasus and got her nodule ablated. Her surgeon in her home country got really, really angry, said that her cancer is going to return and that she still needs to get surgery. Really screwed your thyroid up with this experimental technique. She's like, I'm just happy that I saw your post and I made that decision to go to, to Germany and get my nodule ablated. Um, she said that her friend was pressured into surgery. Benign nodule, not even cancerous. They yeah. said it's cancerous through ultrasound. They removed her whole thyroid mm. and then she had trouble with thyroid hormones. Mm -hmm. And she started to develop, I don't know what it's called, pur purpla, this blotches of purple all over her. She never had these problems before, ever. That is such a shame. Like people's lives can be ruined. I'm going to put a in the description below this video, a link to a video that I watched. It's, it's an excellent video by a doctor in the UK who talks about over treating. Now that we have advanced technology and medicine where we can make these early discoveries of, of diseases, sometimes it can lead to an over treatment of a problem that can result in worse outcomes than not having treated the disease at all. And he gives examples of, um, I think, two or three different patients who, you know, they found this problem really early and then they hit it with this massive treatment and then they suffered these really terrible side effects that ruined the rest of their life, the quality of their life. And it's kind of, I, I equate it to like dropping an atom bomb on a spider. You yeah. know, it's like, yeah, you've killed the spider, but yeah. at what cost? Let It's like, let the punishment fit the crime, you know, yeah. <laughs> let the treatment actually be appropriate for the scale of the disease process.